Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-May 2023. It is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out your other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll take a look at love. And that could be for singles, couples. I will do the you and your person. So that'll be included as well if you'd like to stick around for that part. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you will consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, so your overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords. I like this because I feel like this is a shift in mindset with the Seven of Swords in reverse. It means there's not just less people that represent, it's almost fear that I feel. Like you're not afraid of people who may be deceptive and there's not as much deception around you as you may have perceived in the past. Good sign and we'll clarify that in a little bit. So right now the King of Cups is in your recent past with the world in reverse and temperance. I think you had to have patience with yourself. Um, it's a lot of emotional maturity, to be honest, and we're always growing that way. So I don't care if somebody's 60. It takes time to grow through all of our emotions and to learn. And I just feel like this is a very stable and emotional time for you. And I think you realize that in order for things to change in your external experience, that that had to be something that you reconciled with. That's the words that are coming to me. Um, it wasn't probably the easiest process because temperance is in reverse. And when we're going back and forth, we're able to manage both emotions, the positives, the negatives, keeping balance, but something may not have felt like it was ever going to change. And I think there's a level of acceptance that you have with that as well. For those of you that Hang on, I want to, this is going to be a separate message. It's, yeah, it's kind of love related. There may be somebody that's in your experience who loves you very much and is looking out for you. It could be a masculine energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like this, there's something around this that also needs a little bit of love because there may be a lack of patience on your part with this person because things don't seem to change. It. It doesn't, I mean, it could resonate for a lot of you, but just know that I think you are growing around that experience as well. So in the current energy, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, which I like because you're not giving up as much of yourself. And then we have the Empress and the Ace of Cups. So there's this new sense of balance. It's a great feeling overall that I sense you have. This is coming up with new ideas, feeling more like yourself, you're good in your own skin. You. This is an individual ability to love and experience love and balance, which is good. So for those of you that are looking for love, somebody could pop up in your experience in this next month and want to start something new with you. With the King of Cups looking in the direction that it is, It's. it could be a masculine or a feminine. It doesn't matter which. This could be someone who's going to approach you. I do actually feel like they have a good balance between both. It's someone who's definitely got a lot of emotional maturity. They know what they want. And this could be a new experience for you. That's for those of you that are looking. Otherwise, this just tells me you're going to have a new emotional experience or that you are currently having that new emotional experience and you're embodying this feminine side of your energy that is the creator that you are. And that's helping balance things out. Now, this is about balance when it's in the upright, but he's actually giving to other people. And you may have found that you have to pull back how much you're giving to others in order to be able to focus on yourself and have this new emotional experience and to be able to come up with new ideas or feel like you're in your creative balance. So in the near future, we have the two of wands in reverse with the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. I like this a lot. For those of you that there's been a change in your work or you're anticipating something coming up, I like this because it's 
a mindset of, I don't want to focus so much on the future. I kind of want to stay in the energy, um, not focus so much on how this is going to happen. It's, this feels like, to be honest with you, spiritual maturity. You're just kind of like, I'm just going to put the work in. I'm not going to worry about what the outcome is, which is a really healthy place to be because we want to do things in the moment, not necessarily with the expectation of the outcome, just doing the best that we can in every single moment and not be so set on what's going to happen tomorrow. Now, the challenge for this period, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. If something, for you, it may be a, a challenge with something in your life around communication and some kind of a new opportunity. I will say this, if you feel like something has passed you by or there was something that was missed, there's a reason for that. And I think you're having trouble maybe figuring out why, but you'll get through that process. Obviously, we we realize long term when we're very conscious of ourselves, our spirituality, that a missed opportunity was missed for a reason. It's the dodged a bullet type of energy. Something may have seemed a little bit more exciting or that it was something that you really, really thought was for you, but it wasn't and there was no communication. So that challenge may have... It, that may be the challenge is that there was no movement or communication with something. So if there was a job opportunity, let's say you applied for something and you didn't get it, that this because something better is coming. And the Ace of Cups tells me in the center here, although you may have had a moment of impatience, this is going to be more fulfilling to you emotionally and you're going to be able to focus more on your skills and what you're good at than you would have been able to in this other thing that didn't happen. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify with the Seven of Swords in reverse, which I like because it feels like there's less of this kind of energy in your immediate experience. So we have the Five of Pentacles. You've already left this behind, which is great. It's done. It's over with. You've walked away from things that you couldn't trust, that you didn't like, and also you're walking away from that feeling of mistrust. So if you've had a lot of difficulty with past events and how they influence your current reality, I think you're letting that go. Now, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. You realize that it didn't bring you any happiness. It just brought you down to focus on those past situations. So you're releasing that temperance again, <laughs> a little bit of impatience that they keep implying here with you, but that's okay. We all get impatient at times. Let's see what the last one is, two of swords, because you're making more clear and concise choices. It's not difficult for you at this point. So there's been a huge evolution in the way that you deal with past disappointments. So the King of Cups with the world in reverse, we have the Sun card. You could be dealing with Leo as well. This energy is about your happiness. It really is. And making the best of any situation. So if you're having a, a challenge with someone or someone that uh, you have a little impatience with, something's going to shift. There will be much more happiness around this. Even though things hadn't changed necessarily, what changes you've made within are going to change the experience you have with, with that person. It's also a sign that your emotional maturity is bringing more joy into your life as well. So with the world in reverse and the temperance in reverse, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. There's a reason why, again, something didn't come together. Now, you may not feel like there's a sense of appreciation, if this is a work situation, about how hard you work and the efforts that you put in. But whatever, again, didn't come together, there's a reason. And I think you're recognizing that I can be happy now. I can release that energy and realize that if it didn't, it didn't. And it wasn't meant to be. So in your current energy with the Six of Pentacles and the Empress, we have the Ten of Wands. You're at the other end of this. You're done. The stress that you may have experienced more recently is now being pulled from you. And that comes from your realization that giving so much of yourself can be exhausting and you need to focus on what matters to you most. Um, you could have a feminine energy in your life, could be a mother or mentor or somebody that gives you really great advice and also helps you release some of that stress 
are those burdens that you're dealing with, which is creating a lot more fulfillment. The Empress with the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. I love it because as you continue to pursue the things that bring you joy individually, that's when everything else starts to fill up. This is really being fulfilled. The Ten of Cups, of course, is happiness and joy and experience, but we have both things. And the balance that I think you found is understanding, yes, things may be difficult at times, but I can focus more, I can focus on the things that do bring me joy and deal with the things that may be challenging and difficult. Right now, it's just a happy time for you where you're feeling full of life, a lot of celebration as well in the current energy, which is a good sign. Be careful not to overindulge. Now, especially with Taurus, um, Venus and Taurus, that just shifted as of, I believe, today. That can be a time when we overindulge. So we have to be careful. It is about the things that we love and spending and money and excess, if you will. And always seeking pleasure. Again, just a cautionary measure. So in the near future with the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, I love this. You're done. You're done focusing on the outcome and becoming more present in the moment and realizing that being in your head, which is what these swords are, that's thought processes, the mental, you're done with what that took from you, that focus of waiting for something to happen or to be exactly the way you may have hoped it was going to be. And now just working on what you have that's currently in your energy. And this is what you're going to be doing, I think, moving forward. So it's going to feel, it's going to feel a little different for each of you. But I feel like your primary focus is just to keep on working what's right, working on what is right in front of you. So with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, judgment, very, listen, you've been praying for these changes, these shifts in energy. Judgment is like the decision's been made. You've been guided. You understand now how to move forward. I like that. A decision has definitely been made there whether it be with yourself or guidance or just something really definite has been put in place with the 10 of swords and the judgment. It's like, this is done. I'm no longer going to focus on that or be in this place. Now with the challenge, the eight of wands and the ace of pentacles in reverse, the king of cups. Remember I said there could have been an opportunity and the king of cups is being duplicated here to say, if you had a challenge if there was some opportunity and there was no communication ab about that, this could have been a boss figure, someone in your life that you had hoped there may have been some shifts or changes with. You're going to be okay because you have emotionally matured. You're going to deal with this differently. That challenge at times, you may go back and forth within yourself, regardless of the person exterior to you, external to you. You are still at times challenged with taking the high road, if you will, because we, after certain experiences, have a tough time always being the one that's emotionally mature in every situation. So at times it may be hard, but I think you catch yourself more so than you may have in the past. All right, so I'm going to clear this and get into love. So you're welcome to stay for that if you'd like. And if you aren't, please hit that like button if you enjoyed the messages and I will see you in the next one or if you are staying. Let's get into the love. Okay, so this can be any energy. All right, so we have you deserve love. You were lovable. That's where I feel like some realizations have come to you. You do realize this, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. Some of you could have just recently and or been really working on your religious, not religious, your uh, spiritual path and or having that kind of conundrum between what you had learned and now what you're going through. So it feels like changes there and that could have some kind of a, I want to say it's gonna, it might be a challenge for some of you because if you're in this place and a person is not, that may be a specific thing that you need in order for a relationship to work out. Now, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. I feel like this might have been something, it could have been from your past. Now, for some of you, there may have been a situation that 
this feels right in. It may not be as current, but there is definitely something that wasn't meant to be. And I think you realize that now. All right, let's go ahead and get into you and your person or the person that's on your mind. Okay, so the energy of your person, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who definitely is in it. Okay, Three of Wands. All right, so the way this comes across is this is a person who definitely brings something into the relationship. They may have trouble expressing themselves, but there's some significant change that's happening with them. They may be going through some kind of personal shift in their life. Whether you know this person well or not, that's what's happening. The Three of Wands tells me they're kind of waiting for something in their life to get going. They're kind of waiting for something to happen with them. It feels very personal, but it isn't that they aren't trying. They want to keep continuing to offer and put energy into the relationship. They're offering this, the Page of Pentacles, this opportunity. They may not articulate it well, but they definitely seem like they're invested. Now, your energy, which is kind of contradictory to what we've been talking about. Oh, I like this. So you've changed. Something about you changed. You went from a place of being stuck in your head to having different ways of uh, operating. It's interesting because that emotional maturity makes sense in the with these cards where things didn't come together in the past, something that was either unrequited love or wasn't meant to be. I feel like you've released and you have changed from this person who may have felt stuck with the Empress in reverse and feeling like you couldn't get somewhere. Um, I just think something's changed. You've got the death card here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But there's a lot of shifts and changes happening within the situation. If you're not currently with them, they may be coming towards you. If you are currently with this person, I can see where individually the two of you are working on things that are very separated. It doesn't always mean you're conscious of each other's changes. These aren't necessarily things that you talk about. They're sometimes just things that are happening and you're seeing the shift within the relationship. Now, the Empress in reverse could just say at times you realize that it, when you felt stuck, it impeded your ability to focus on growth and change and ideas and being creative. Something may have um, been difficult to deal with, but that's changing. And I think your person's also going to change how they communicate with the king of wands they have a hard time saying like being deep and passionate i don't i think they're just more methodical in the way that they work meaning they're kind of grounded in their energy it's what's here and now it's a very earthy like energy they don't have to be earth it could be leo sag aries all right so let's see what other messages spirit has for you here do we have any advice for them around this Gemini. The Seven of Cups. Sometimes there may be some confusion there, but I think that's going to change. I think what's changing is the both of you individually and then you come together. Yeah, see? And then the Two of Cups came out. So even though it may seem a little confusing at times, it's coming together. The Two of Cups is two people who really do join hands in that cup. That's what they're doing. I mean, in that card. And then the Five of Swords is in reverse. So there isn't going to be stress. What they're saying is basically relax into the energy while these shifts are happening. And things are going to be great. Two people are coming together. You're going to see things from the same perspective. Not always exactly the same, but at least you're coming together even through the difficult and confusing times. That more difficult time is behind you at this point. All right, so let's get the Lover's Oracle. See what messages we get there. Hmm. That doesn't quite feel right. Let's keep going. Okay. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception. Seven of Cups. Uh, and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if there's anything that's underlying that you're working on, I think that's changing. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. 
and reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. Let's see for Gemini, please. Oh, that one wanted to come out. That never-ending story. So something's coming to a close. Or you may have been an overthinker or you may have been in your head and felt like things are just not changing. That is changing. This is a good sign because it does reduce to a 10. So you could be 37, born on the 3rd, the 7th, or the 10th of the month. Just know that this is coming to an end. All right, wait, I'm gonna split those. There we go. And then we have peace. That's great. So peace is coming in, especially again with um, Venus moving into Taurus. Or Taurus moving into Venus? No, Venus into Taurus. <laughs> I always get confused about that. So with the piece, it reduces to a five, so changes. Changes from the never-ending story that was constantly feeling like it was repeating into this place of peace over these next couple of weeks. You could be 23, born on the 23rd, the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 5th. And then time to go. So you're releasing that old energy. You've got the 10... You know what things you need to leave behind. I just don't think there's any question about what needs to be left in the past. And it's a lot of it is mindset and becoming more emotionally sound. So you could be 45 born on the 4th, the 5th, or the 9th of the month. The 5th seems to be significant. So those of you born on that day, this is probably a, a more potent reading for you. Fork in the road. And I think this is where you've been in the past and you're choosing the high road. Like I said earlier, something about you taking the high road no matter what because of the emotional maturity you're experiencing. You could be born on the 13th, the 1st, the 3rd, or the 4th of the month. So that fork in the road is really you making that decision to take that better route. And it's going to be more fulfilling to you. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, if you would like a personal, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing mid-month. Please hit that like button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.